guys, welcome. This is Elevate with Vern, and this is going to be a vlog of my trip to the endocrine doctor. Endo doctor, y'all know what I'm saying. The endo doctor, endocrine doctor, endocrine logic. Y'all get it anyway. Um, so today is August 1st, it is now about 8 p.m. in the evening. I have settled down. And I forgot my juice, so I need to either go get my juice or have somebody bring it to me. But whatever the case is, I wanted to give you an update on what happened and want to tell you my experience. Um, and this goes out to a big shout out to the medical community. I know some people have an awful time at the medical community. I've had a horrible time one time when I went to a medical doctor. But this one here is going to be a little bit different. So I am going to give you seven tips or seven steps that I've taken that has helped me with this process, okay? So what is an endocrinologist? It is a doctor that looks at you for your thyroid. So I have thyroid issues, which happened a little bit before COVID. Um, I had one nodule on my thyroid on the right side, and the doctor wanted to keep an eye on it. But because of COVID, you know your girl ain't go to the doctor. Y'all know I had COVID. Go back and watch that video. I'll insert it here. But yeah, that was a whole nother story. So, um, because now he's like, well, it's been a while. You need to go get it checked. So I was like, okay. So I went about three weeks ago and I had an ultrasound on my thyroid. And, um, I waited until I came back from my trip to meet my cousin. Also that video you can see there. Um, what happened was I was feeling like little pebbles in my throat when I swallow and I have this cough so if you hear me coughing excuse me that's it's why um, or clearing my throat <clears throat> like that because I have to clear it so um I waited till I came back from my cruise and yes I finally went had the other sound had to wait a few days to get the results he didn't call me and I'm like uh what's up doc like hey no news is good news or what's going on and when I called the nurse my lovely nurse answered and she said oh he just um, updated your chart. So let me look at it and let me call you right back. So she called me back in like 20 minutes and she talked to me and guys, it wasn't good. So I know, I know. So, uh, I am a Christian. I believe God is a healer, but I was nervous. I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm human. I was, I was a little like, Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on here. Listen, Linda. So the results were, I had the one nodule on the right side. It did grow then I had two more found on the left side now if you know anything about endo they go by a thing called a tirade score I'll insert something here somewhere right so a tirade score goes up to a five and mine is a four now four is considered suspicious right five is considered maybe possibly cancerous right so because of that, and they found two more, my doctor wanted to be safe and have me go see the endocrine doctor. It took a while to get the appointment. I had the appointment yesterday. This is why I'm doing the video today because now I'm breathing through all of that that happened yesterday. So I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. So I go to the office. I'm going to insert some pictures and stuff here. The, the office was beautiful. And stay to the end. I'll show you the actual full office. And the clerk who took my information was very nice. We even was laughing a couple of times. And the office was beautiful. I was like, oh, upgrade ya. Upgrade ya. Let me, let me upgrade ya. All right, doc. Okay. So the office was beautiful. I felt um, nice. I was like, oh, this is a nice place. And my daughter went with me. So um, we in the waiting room. And the waiting room is beautiful. And um, it really... 15 minutes and they called me and then I was in the back and then maybe another 20 minutes in the back um, before the doctor actually saw me. Nurse came in. She took my vitals. She talked to me, asked me questions, you know, what's wrong, what is, what's going on and all that. So once that happened, the doctor came in. Now, I'm going to be very honest. Before the doctor came in, I told my daughter, I said, hmm, watch her bedside manner, her bedside manner. Hear that? What happened to be, I had a male doctor and I'm like, Okay, he's not going to understand because I'm a woman and he's a man. You know, I, listen, judging, yes, me, I judge. I'm not even going to lie to you. However, I was wrong. He was a great doctor. His bedside manner was A1 impeccable. I was totally surprised. Um, 
because I've never been to an endo doctor. And I'm like, I have a hundred questions. Literally, I had a hundred questions. Like, don't play. This is my health. We have to be an advocate for our own health no matter what it is. So, yes, I went to Google University. I know I shouldn't have, but I did. What is this? What is that? What does this mean? And I'm going to tell you some, some things that you can do if you have the endocrine, what would have happened for me if it would have went a different way. I also joined some Facebook groups, and they were very helpful in telling me. Actually, I have to message them back to let them know how did it go. So, um... He was dressed, I'm looking at my phone because I made some notes. He was dressed very professional. Um, he talked to me with care. He talked to me with concern. He even wrote out, guys, he wrote out a diagram of the nodules on my throat and what the sizes were and uh, what the tirade score and all that. And so that really made me feel comfortable. And this is the thing. You want to feel comfortable when you're at a doctor. If you are sick or you are ill, you do not need to be made to feel like you are a burden. You're asking too many questions. This is my health. This is my body. I'm going to ask you every question because that's what you went to school for. And you're going to use that degree today, baby. Okay? Let's get that clear. But he was super, super um, attentive. His bedside manner was very good. So um, after he got medical history and everything... And as some of you know, I was adopted at birth, so I don't know a lot about my medical history. I do know that my mom passed, giving birth to me, but she died of a thing called cardiac hypertrophy, which is like an enlarged heart, okay? So that wasn't really uh, with this, but y'all understand what I'm saying. It, that's part of my me medical history. So I sat up on the table. He felt, you know, the nodules, and he said, oh, yeah, I do feel them. So... This is what he has decided to do after the exam. He says, um, after answering all my questions in depth, let me just say that. He answered my questions in depth because he explained stuff to me, but I still had 100 questions. Like, listen, doc, um, wait a minute. What is this? What is that? What is this? Anyway, so after uh, he did the exam and answered all my questions, the conclusion was... That we are going to wait. He's going to do another ultrasound. Um, unless and I have more issues besides the coughing. Um, and we're going to wait and see if it grows. Now, because it was a 1.9, but my tirade was 4, he wants to uh, make sure that it doesn't grow anymore. Now, if it grows into a 2 and it's still a tirade 4, then we may consider going to the next step, which I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. But right now, because it's under 2, centimeters we're going to wait even though the tirade score is high right so the main one on the right side is uh tirade four but the other two are tirade three so a three is in the middle okay four is suspicious and five is it means something okay let's just say that so this is my situation so um we are going to wait and we're going to do another ultrasound in another year to see unless and i have issues before then now if it was a two or higher, two centimeters or higher, and my tirade score was a four or five, the next steps would be to biopsy. So next year, if it has grown, we may consider a biopsy. Also, after that would be considered surgery. Now, if you don't know about thyroid, if they take out one nodule, most of the time they have to take out the whole thyroid, and then you have to take medicine for it for the rest of your life. And it is kind of a slit right here under your throat and I really didn't want that and then the next thing would be to have um, radiation um, if some of you know I was diagnosed with lupus in 2012 but I thank God I am healed I do not take medicine for it so I did take chemo at the time I did have a blood transfusion and an iron transfusion when I had my uh, lupus diagnosis so I really am not wanting to go for radiation so but thank god i don't have to we are good we are healthy thank you jesus it is an issue but it is okay okay so let's get that done so stay tuned to the end i'm going to show you what the office looked like it was very nice thank you guys for all your prayers thank you guys for all checking on me i appreciate you guys if you guys have any questions or you want to know more please hit me up um i am very open as you guys know so um I don't have a problem talking with you about it. I am a Christian and I believe I am healed. And the doctor was absolutely phenomenal. I'm so thankful. Thankful to my daughter for going with me because your mama was like this. Okay. 
but it, it was, um, like I said, he had a great bedside manner. Um, again, if you have medical issues, make sure you check with your medical professional and take your own medical history into your own hands. You have to make sure you are doing what's right for you. Okay, maybe some people would have opted out for surgery. Maybe some people would have opted for radiation. I decided not to, and I don't have to, and I'm thankful for that. Okay, so you guys stay tuned here and follow me. And if you are interested in being part of the uh, workshop that we're having, the business workshop on August 26th, please DM me on Instagram so I can give you the link or go to my Instagram page, Elevate with Vern. The link is in the bio. Um, you can attend or you can sponsor. So if you have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to put the video up there of the office. I love you guys. Go out there and be kind to one another and know that today is a good day to have a great day. And y'all know what I'm going to say. Go out there and spread love and spread light. Bye, y'all! the doctor waiting to get in and we will see what happens but it's very pretty here this is my first time here it's a very nice office very nice it's fancy <laughs> nah. now it's a new year get your hands and your drinks up high and let's cheer and then take a leap of faith with no fear leave your mark let the world know you've been here see life goes fast so between life and death what have you done with your dash? Did you give it all you got? Did you leave your mark?